Oh, amazing shots. Look at the choreography. Whoa, who is that? Into the waters. The prophecy. Our cinematic journey through Fiorina's story in Genshin Impact and the Archon Quest of Fontaine has been such a roller coaster of emotions. And I enjoyed the Fossil Lore's video so much that today I wanted to continue on and just finish the ending of that same Archon Quest to enjoy together. If you enjoy our time together, please consider checking out some of the other videos we've covered on this channel, including our World of Warcraft cinematic journey, which we're continuing tomorrow. All right, lore experts, join me. Here we go. Ooh, awesome. I really like the camera shake. A little bit of camera shake, just so there's like something cataclysmic going on here. Oh, and I love the color use. So the, this void is purple. It's meant to represent another world, right? Something not of this world, the power not of this world. Color choice, really good there. It's so different. And look at Nouvellet. Oh, amazing shot, amazing shot. Did you see that? I love how he's using the techniques that we saw in his character demo, by the way. What a cool creature. What is this? Wow, he's got a vortex in his mouth. Really nice slowdown there. And of course, it's the La Senora theme. It's my favorite song in Genshin. It's Tartaglia. Oh, amazing shots. Look at the choreography. The camera movement there was so good. I love how they're working together. Did you see that? Incredible, incredible shot of them working together at the same moment, causing an opening and then he shoots. Whoa, that was so good. I love how they're still using Yupong Chen's music even after he's left. That was something I was worried about. The established <laughs> character themes, it's really good. What a scene. That was great. Yeah, this shot right here. Look at, the, look at the weight of his attack. You have the manga lines and everything. And then ready, he slices, he slices, he slices. And Nouvellet, just at the right moment, prepares his attack. Oh, and they both slice through together. Man, that is just hype. That was so well edited. The storyboarding's on point for this. All right, the fight continues. This beast is so interesting. So it's from a different void, like a different dimension, I think. Is that what's happening here? Man, Nouvellet goes to just delete it. I love this background too. It's so, it's so cool. Oh, okay. That color, see, that color is of a different world. I'm telling you, isn't that awesome? that and she's got child what the <laughs> wait she just yeeted child yes yes perfect <laughs> that was thanks for helping with the cleanup it should have been my job but what a cool character design who is this a new character it was just guys supposed to be a short private training session for me yeah. i didn't think that my disciple and my master's pet would start brawling in the meantime who's her master that's the question oh, actually She's so i had powerful. a feeling that it would happen at some point but they bumped into one another earlier than i thought i love how her design is like but nothing one, that's in this world of genshin she looks totally foreign i soared three million times as penance and she's clearly a very serious warrior if that's what she's thinking about who are you exactly good question man Hmm. From what she said earlier, she must be Child's master. Skirk, right? Skirk. It's just that he gave us the impression that she was the less talkative person. Uh -uh. I simply did not have anything to hmm. say to the weak. Whoa. But you, All on right. the other hand, yes. managed to defeat the all-devouring narwhal Is without it... using power from beyond this world. Serious warrior. So you may speak to me as equals. You may speak to me. What a cool concept. And look at the outfit. Like, she has, like, the, uh, it's a Hermes use of a planet's primordial water shoes. Just to raise an <clears throat> all devouring narwhal. That kind of power is wasted I like the music. on it. It's not cooperative. It eats too much. And I have more important things to do with my time than pet sitting. The it's only so funny just to see her treat this as so it's trivial. Things. It's this, like, world-ending beast. It fails as a pet. I'd have to agree. Miss 
<laughs> I think you might have missed the point. The yeah. point being... Well, being that this pet almost destroyed <laughs> an entire nation. <laughs> I so forget how awesome Paimon's voice is. Well, child's master's master. Wait, is that oh, right? That was funny. <laughs> so is that you right? don't know him. Sorry, I assumed you did. <laughs> His name is Sertoloji. Sertoloji, great name. Uh -huh. <laughs> huh? I am unfamiliar with that name. Okay, even Ray Chase doesn't know. Oh. You know we're in trouble. So Master is insufficiently famous. Hmm. How should I describe him then? Have you heard of the name The Foul? The, f the Foul? Foul? That's a Still bad name. Nothing. Well, how about the visionary? Vetterful near then? Vetterful near. Gold Rhine daughter. Cool. It's like all these different names oh, of different cultures, yeah, maybe. Rhine daughter's part of the Hexen Circle. She's Albedo's mom, right? Awesome. Albedo. I love Albedo. Mm. Oh man. So you Miss do him. know that name. To be honest, I also heard all of those names and titles from my master. So interesting. Who I don't is this guy? But I suppose you understand now, yes? My master is likely a similar sort to Rhine Daughter. They are both pursuing some. I love this idea. Fiction. It's like they're introducing something Wait, bigger. Didn't you also mention a visionary person? That's gonna come into play like Why in the end game, I think. Their name? And I think it's a really con Actually, fun concept. Never mind that. I believe it expedient to inform you. Skirk. That the all devouring narwhal used up nearly all its strength fighting you. Okay. Such roiling hydro energies will prove difficult for the planet's deep seas to digest. Uh -huh. As such, the fontaine back on the surface has most likely been thrown into chaos. Chaos. In other words, okay. the prophecy that you've been fretting over should now be in full swing. Oh no. The people oh, will no. all be dissolved into the waters. The prophecy. And only Farina will remain, weeping no. on her throne. What a cool image that was. And look at the water level. Oh, no. I love how it feels peaceful, though, even in this Only then crazy moment. Will the sins of the people of Fontaine be washed away? I had so much fun playing Genshin the other day, by the way. And if you guys have been enjoying your time, make sure to subscribe. Because we're going deep into this stuff. I played Genshin on the live stream for our 25k celebration. It was amazing swimming around in Fontaine. One of my favorite parts of Genshin ever, period. Okay, thank goodness, thank goodness. What's gonna happen here? Fontaine's just hey, chaos right now. I'm so interested in this character. I can't wait. You guys said maybe she's gonna get a character demo coming up. I cannot wait for that one. Yeah. Cool design. And she's helping. Okay, we have like a rescue operation here. This is great. That was a great shot with the wind blowing. I feel like they've really increased their uh, their skill in moments like that. Animation. Okay, a lot of ships. Wow, look at that. This is this is really well done. Look at that. The water animation, guys. It's amazing. All hands initiate emergency rescue. You guys said on my live stream I should cosplay Risley. I might have to. And maybe you said Aaliyah could cosplay Chlorin. I want her character demo too, though. That's gonna be hype. Hey, lend a hand. Oh, this is awesome! I love this feeling of like, okay, everybody's working together. The music, the music's fantastic, and yes, yes, we're getting everybody kind of like showing off their skills and using them to help people. I love it. He's a diver, right? He's Using his uh, his abilities in a positive way. Yep, we have magicians. This is perfect. Rescuing people. Look, the water's receding. Yeah, I love her design too. It's awesome. So arcane, which is great compliment. The water's receding. Okay, it's actually receding too. I thought that was gonna be the new Fontaine. I was like, what? It's a miracle. This is really well animated. The prophecy was wrong! Yeah! I love it. <laughs> Beautiful music here. Oh, yes! Farina! Ah, uh, 
there's that music. Beautiful, beautiful shot. I love it. Pulling back from the intimate her reaction to this whole society. I see was wrong. That is so nice. And look at the coloration here. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Look at this. There's a warmth to it. Oh, that was awesome. That was so good. Let's uh let's go talk about it. Let's go talk about it. <clears throat> There's one thing here. I want to talk about this a little bit. Um, this one shot I think might be my favorite. Uh, you have this music swelling, and it's so beautifully done uh, as Farina comes to. And, you know, what what we know from Fossil Lore is this is such a beautiful moment because now it's like Farina can be, uh, can exist with humanity uh, and, and a full humanity at that. And listen to this music. Listen to that music with that in mind. Ah, oh, come on. It's just so, it's so freeing. And to see that look on her face, such a human look, and the feeling of freedom is emphasized in the music by this wide shot that pulls out. Oh. Are you right? And it's a feeling of relief. You see people that we're okay, we're all right, we survived. Um, it's beautiful. I love it. Really well done. Look at that. And there's this, uh, there's this great shot with the, it feels like a healing light, you know, it was kind of like in the other scene when we had, uh, Nouvellet using, uh, they were voicing these feelings with the voice, uh, with the images of nature. The rain came down and had like, this blue magical tint to it when he, uh, when he went up into the sky right after Fossilora's, uh, execution. And it was, it reminded me of Final Fantasy VII Advent Children, like I said, just this healing rain, like this magical rain. And this has a similar feeling. It's like the sun has a healing feeling. You guys ever feel that? You go out into the sun, it's just so warm and it's so natural and it feels so right. It's like her first time really feeling that, I, I, I feel. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful last shot. I love it. I'm so intrigued. This this is so well done, first of all. I thought it was really good. I'm so intrigued by Skirk and what the deal is with, with Skirk's master and everything. So this, this story is going to a really cool place. And uh, I'm, I'm very excited to see. There's how many Archons left, guys? Two, right? So uh, there's still a lot to explore in the world. There's still some really cool stuff. And I think uh, I think they seem to be building up to something really grand. Uh, that is going to be a really a fun experience to enjoy with you guys. Um, like I said, if you missed it the other day, I played Genshin uh, for the first time in a while, uh, and it was in Fontaine swimming around and everything, and it was it was so magical. The under the water sections, it was my first time being in Fontaine, and the music, the water, the coloration, it was just, just so much to talk about. So, um, yes, we'll, we will be playing more Genshin on the stream. Uh, so make sure to subscribe if you want to engage in such activities. Also follow on Twitter and. And get ready for more World of Warcraft tomorrow, guys, because we're going back. We're going back. And I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, next on that journey is the Mists of Pandaria. Sounds interesting. So you guys are the best. Thanks so much. I'm so happy you guys, again, had a huge uh, enthusiasm with my with my other Fossil Lords video. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching the ending here with me. Have a great day, guys.